In Tamil Nadu, we bring you the story of our bird man, Bal Pandyan, who has dedicated his life to saving birds. We bring you the story of our incredible innovator, Dr. Kanav Kahol, who has turned an ordinary Android tablet into a one-point diagnostic center. We bring you the story of Amitabha Bhattacharya who gave up his life overseas to revive the traditional folk arts in India. Like any other village in Tamil Nadu, Kuntakulam too would have been an obscure land if not for these avian species. As many as 1 lakh migratory birds visit the Kuntakulam bird sanctuary every year under the watchful eye of this man. Bal Pandya, who has dedicated his life to protecting the lives of his winged friends. I have been working on a lot of work. I have been working on a lot of work. I have Pachaluk or nesting say, Abbas Tarpse, Paris Tarpse, O Jarasinice, Pachalo Kirjati, O Mera, Wipe, my don't be milky, Ajita, America, four thousand six hundred and forty two nest chicker, Balapanaki, and say, Wouldn't I put the way as a sword that day? From an ordinary villager to the bird man of Kuntakulam, Bal Pandyan's love for birds started when he was a boy. My husband thing, my brother thing, my school thing, my career, I got my road, my father is at me, at me, my daily marga did that. Why? Because that school thing, my daughter, that matchy bagiri, that kind of kind of picture, that kind of kind of thing, that kind of matchy kind of thing. Or that you go to school, school, go to 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 school. तुम कैसा पढ़े अगर कि मेरा पिताजी मेरे को मार देता। The call of the wild was so strong that he quit his city job in 1970 to return to his village to work with birds। बड़ा वन एक बार ऐसे चलते पढ़ने के बाद मैं बंबई भी चला गया था। बंबई चलने के बाद दो साल उधर काम करता था। लेकिन मेरा बैड के फेयर मेरे को तो उधर मत रहो इधर आओ इधर आकर के ऐसा पहुंच लेके मोहब्बत जोन की मैं इधर आ गई ये शादी भी हुआ मेरा बी भी मतलब बहुत इंटरेस्ट किया था पर आप तुमको इतना बैठ बैठ सकते जान दिए वो आप इतना बैठ सकते हो आप काम करेंगे तो आपको मदद कम करेंगे करके मेरा बी भी मेरे को बोलने के बाद मेरा बहुत इंटर Pandyan and his late wife Vallithai shared a parent-child relationship with the birds. Despite their unstable financial condition, they always managed to arrange food for their little friends. In 
कम से कम दो सौ फिफ्टी किलो से मछली लाना पड़ती है मैं केरला सी एम सी मेरे के सी एम से अच्छा सबसे मेरे के अवार्ड है से दिन वहाँ रहती है मच्छी बड़ा के थर्टी टू थाउजेंड का पैसा के लिए मच्छी देने के लिए पैसा के लिए हुआ लेकिन उसको पैसा देने के लिए मैं नहीं वो बड़ा मच्छी वाला तो कल मैं ये पैसा नहीं देगा तो मच्छी नहीं देगा ऐसा बोल दिया था मेरा भी भी क्या किया काम का तोड़ ये मंगल सूत्र ये सैन सब बेच दिया वो बेच दिया सत्रह हजार तो वो वो भी बेच दिया सत्रह हजार का वो सत्रह का पैसा ला के वो मच्छी वाला दिया मच्छी वाला सोचा बोला क्योंकि मंगल मंगल सूत्र भी बेच के अपन को पैसा दिया लेकिन ये बैट्स के इतना प्यार करते हैं ये लोग बोला कब तक ये बैट्स आप लोग रहेंगे अब तक आप मच्छी देंगे तुम पैसा कभी भी दे कोई बात नहीं करेगी वो चिला गई Pandian worked hard for over 3 decades to bring Puntakulam to its present status of being a sanctuary in 1994. Well, the the Kundalam bats are number one bats and the. Kida 234 variety kider bhi nahi hote. As the migration reaches its peak, Puntakulam becomes a beehive of activity. January me aayega to a spotted cray pelican, painted star, open bill star, spoon bill, white ibis, black ibis, glass ibis, darter, little cormoran, large cormoran, Indian zag cormoran, grey cormoran, purple cormoran, brown cormoran, night cormoran. Little egret, large egret, medium egret, cattle egret, yellow pitan, tiger pitan, black pitan. ये साढ़े गुप्पर निश्चित करती है वो। Apart from protecting birds against poaching, Pandian's focus is on rescuing and rehabilitating wounded fledglings. He has rescued more than 2,600 birds. Nursing them back to health before setting them free. वो जाड़े से नीचे किरदे ना, वो किरदे ने को उसके स्लान करना, उसके काम तेज़ी में लगाने से 30 किलोमीटर्स, वो सुबह बस में जाके मच्छी लाके उसके दे किलाना पड़ती है, तो एक दिन में तीन बार उसको काना किलाने पड़ते, तीन बार उसके दो बार स्लान करना पड़ते, वो मुंह के अंदर क ऐसा सलाह नहीं करेगा ना उसके ऊपर कीड़ा कीड़ा होती है ये कीड़ा अपन के ऊपर काटेगा ना अपन को बीमार पड़ जाते हैं Bal Pandian's zeal and commitment towards avian conservation is truly commendable. Life on the move requires technology that will allow you to read, rejuvenate, and reconnect at your own pace. And a tablet would do just that. But what if the same 10 inch screen could detect a faulty heart rate? You can see the ECG. Or could tell you how high your blood sugar is. Or even measure your blood pressure. Swastya Slate, a new age health innovation, will let you do all that and more. Right now, we've got eight diagnostics that are included in it. It has got blood pressure, blood sugar, body temperature, heart rate, ECG, water quality, blood hemoglobin, urine protein, and actually we've added a ninth, which is urine uh, sugar. A one-point diagnostic center, Swasthya Slate, is the brainchild of Public Health Foundation of India scientist, Dr. Kanav Kahol. It is the result of years of research among the primary healthcare workers. When I moved around uh, Delhi, I would go to Haryana, I would go to Himachal, I would go to Punjab, uh, Odisha, and I started to interview with 
a lot of these frontline health workers. So one of the biggest things that they wanted was diagnostics. They wanted to be able to do these tests, uh, you know, in villages on Village Health and Nutrition Day or in primary healthcare centers and secondary healthcare centers, and then enable them to make certain decisions you know, under the supervision of the doctor. They all wanted to do that. And that was really the genesis of the concept of Swastislay. If you look at primary healthcare centers and secondary healthcare centers, our study shows that most of them do not have any of these nine. Some of them may have one or two that are actually in, uh, there. So suddenly, where a rural folk essentially had to go down to a tier three, tier four city, and sometimes tier one cities to essentially get these tests done for a large, amount of money, many of these tests will cost together between 800 to 1500 rupees, they can actually get it done right there in their house because it's a portable kit. Um, that's one of the big advantages of the system and the results are instantaneous. For Ram Avtar who lives in the Srinivaspuri slum cluster in Delhi, access to healthcare is limited due to lack of funds. But this health tablet might be the answer to all his problems. Yes, so your blood glucose has come to 120. It's less than 200, it's not a problem of sugar. The person who is in the heart, is in the heart, is in the heart, is in the heart. That's why we have a little bit of pain. Now, to do it or not, it's our own. We can do it wherever we can do it. But it's necessary that if we do it, we have 5,000 rupees. But here, we have a free fund. If you make diagnostics cheap, then people will lead, will have more preventive and promotive care. If they are about to prevent the disease more, then they will earn more, right? If they will earn more, they'll pay more taxes. If they will pay more taxes, my country will have more money to build roads and, and bridges. So you have to look at the big picture, right? We have to enable this level of healthcare. And the data we are getting from this, you see, all of this data is now being used for epidemiological purposes. Swasthya Slate is on its way to revolutionizing healthcare, aimed at auxiliary nurse midwives and primary healthcare workers. The multilingual app and software focuses on ease of use. Actually, the training time for them to get to around 80% of usage is around 45 minutes. It takes 45 minutes for them to fire it up and actually learn how to do it. We give them one day of training and that's more than enough. And the key there is it was designed to make them feel more empowered. You know, It wasn't designed for reporting. It wasn't just designed to get them to do their things. It looks nice. It enables usability. The simple diagnostics help citizens to seek further medical attention and help NGOs and state governments collate data. We've identified people, uh, you know, with certain um, problems, let's say blood pressure, who have immediately seeked care because they were they were informed of that. The policymakers have been very happy within the government because it gives them data. It gives them a way uh, for them to increase the reach. He is also making headway in mental health, conceptualizing devices that will map brain activity and stress. Can you please focus on the cube and push it in with your thoughts? Dr. Kahol's focus on health innovations at an affordable cost make him truly an incredible innovator. <laughs> On the other side of the break, catch the story of Amitava Bhattacharya, who is helping thousands of rural artists realize their dreams. पढ़ाई पढ़ाई छोभी नहीं है जेतो, वो छोभी नहीं है के गान कोरे, वो चाल, मुरी, आलू, बेगुन, सब ग्राम थे के अंतो, सब आये वो गान सुने दी तो, पोचूर कॉस्ट हो चिलो तो कौन? Jabba Chitrakar, a talented artist from Pingla block in the West Midnapore district of West Bengal, 
has been pursuing her love for this traditional art form, Patachitra. The long scrolls of tales on cloth don't just sing the diverse repertoire of mythological folklore, but today they unfold the transformed lives of these Patachitra artists who are also called Patwars. <laughs> Reviving many dying art forms of India and building them as a means for livelihood for the artists is the initiative of Banglanatak.com. And the man behind this is not an artist, but an engineer from IIT Kharagpur who left his well-paying job in the software industry in California to improve the status of folk arts and artists back home in India. When I first started talking about that, you know, traditional art and culture, we can use it as a vehicle for development. So my father told me in a Bengali beautiful way that, you know, it is kaj na anundu. Man, is it work or pleasure? So I said, it is kaj. Now he couldn't believe it. That you know, I mean, everybody. My friends also they thought that you know, many guys come from abroad with a lot of things, and you know, within two years they go back. Uh, the motto is simple: use traditional art and culture for socio-economic development. Culture can be a very, very strong tool for development. <laughs> Banglanatak.com's unique theatre-based model revolutionises the training process for these folk artists and provides them a global platform to preserve their talent from fading away. Banglanatak.com has two types of work. One is communication for development, another is art for life. Communication for development includes outreach, training grassroots service providers, at the same time social research. How to reach out to the unreachable? That is basically the primary thing behind this communication for development. So here we work in 23 states in rural India. Traditional art and culture, we all know India is a gold mine for that. Rural India is a gold mine. The idea was, can it really be a tool for generating livelihood for the poor? Can it really do social inclusion? So in 2004, we conceived Art for Life and we started working with 3,200 community members across six districts in Bengal covering six art forms, Chau in Purulia, Jumur in Bankura and Purulia, Gombira and Domni, two folk theater forms in Malda, Potachitra, the scroll painters of Bengal in Vidnapur, and Baul Fakiri. To support the local community-led craft enterprise and to bring them closer to their patrons, Banglanatak.com frequently organizes exhibitions in cities. At a recently concluded exhibition at the Indian Council for Cultural Relations in Delhi, Madhubani painters from Simri district of Bihar got the much needed exposure and encouragement. पहले से पहले जब हम कोई एक्सिबिशन में जाते थे, बहुत सारा ऐसा है जो बिचलिया के थ्रू बेच लेते थे, तो जो 2000 का चीज है वो 200 में बिकते थे। अब यहाँ जो लाए हैं तो जो सही दाम है वो तो हम डायरेक्ट अपना बात करें कस्टमर के साथ हाँ डायरेक्ट सेल करें। Each and every exhibition has brought them new business and also this exposure helps a rural artist to be exposed with a new area altogether. In a span of just eight years, Banglanatak.com has impacted and improved the lives of nearly 5,000 folk artists spread across Bihar and West Bengal. Income going up, sanitation going up, 
sending people going to school going up these are socio economic changes there are much more than that that i see 32 artists who could never think going out of the village have traveled internationally they have invited our bows to within that fashion show i actually thank that designer who invited them because it is not me who went and said that no so that means people at all segmentation of entertainment industry and all other industry they are coming forward not only to help them no to get the uniqueness in their produce so our role should be connecting the community to them Amitabha Bhattacharya's persistent work has gone a long way in reviving India's repository of folk arts and giving them international exposure making him an exceptional global indian In modern India in future India in post future India also traditional art and culture will find its own space it is the catalyst like us which are very important we must not think that we are the saviors of art form our role is only to work as a catalyst to connect the dots and help somebody to draw the graph next week we bring you the story of mamu nakta a man who opened doors of education to underprivileged children in tikiapara kolkata meet Matthew Jones our urban crusader whose recycle campaign in Chennai has earned him the nickname paper man and watch the story of project chira where a group of college students are lighting up rural households in maharashtra